Would you put a piece of tape over the check engine light in your car and continue driving down the road just because you're annoyed with the light? You could have disastrous results. And the w people are doing the exact same thing with what they have with candida. Candida is a symptom of a much bigger problem. Candida is a part of a normal flora. We, we don't want to get rid of it. We need to bring it into check. When it's grown out of proportion and it becomes a major problem, it's letting you know you have much deeper problems inside and those need to be dealt with. Candida is part of the normal flora inside of your gut. It actually it coats all of your mucous membranes. Those are in the nose, the mouth, the ears, throughout the entire gut and the reproductive tract. And the flora in all of those is almost the same. It's pretty close to identical. So when you have a problem in one area, it shows that you have a problem in another. And candida is only a small, should be a small fraction of what that flora is. And it controls all kinds of different functions. It has everything to do with digestion. It aids all of that. It resides in this mucus coating over all the mucous membranes. And whenever that mucus coating starts to get beat up, uh, or the mucous membrane starts to get beat up, it makes it so that the flora can't live properly. They get washed out and it allows things, pathogenic things to start to grow, things like candida. So the flora, it has an immune function. It makes every hormone that we make. It makes every neurotransmitter that we make. It aids in detoxification. It's actually flora in the colon that decides whether we're going to excrete our toxins or recycle them. So it's, it's really, really very important. For any of these pathogens to grow, a few things have to happen before that can happen. So if you have a yeast infection in one place, you have this huge problem going in all your mucous membranes. Typically, the mucous membrane needs to atrophy. If we look at the gut, the gut's the most unique mucous membrane. It's a tube that's about 30 feet long, about the average diameter of your index finger. It's lined with microvilli that look very much like this, and that increases the surface area of the gut to about the size of a tennis court, which is pretty huge. In between all these little fingers, that's where the mucus coats, and that's where all the flora lives. Well, anything that creates chronic inflammation will start to beat up those microvilli and they'll slowly atrophy down to something like this. And there's no place for the floor to hide and it gets washed out as things move. Anything that creates chronic inflammation can do that. So we're talking about food intolerance. It's one of the biggest ones. It's almost never talked about because there's people have a very difficult time figuring out what those are because the lab tests are only 2 to 3% accurate. There's food intolerances. There's hormone changes that will create that. Uh, any kind of medication. There's several kinds of medications that don't really mess that up. Xenoestrogens, foreign estrogens, those things like herbicides, pesticides, the things in plastic. Uh, a lot of toxins are along that line. That creates it. Birth control with hormone therapies and chemical therapies. That'll beat it up pretty bad. You got sugars. You have antibiotics. Simple carb diets, processed foods are really big as far as that goes. All of these things and others will make that get beat up and allows these pathogens to grow. And the real problem with candida, there's four forms. Most people are just dealing with the yeast form, but if you've had it for a while, it's turned into fungus form. If that's been there for a while, the the mycelia, those little feeding tubules that come off of fungus, they look like cottony hairs. Those start to penetrate into your mucous membranes, become a parasite. And with that follows mold, and you have some things to really beat your health up a lot. So if you really want to learn how to get on the other side of that, what's going on with all this, join us for a webinar. We're going to hold this Thursday night, November 11th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The sign up to the link to sign up is down below. So click the link below, join us. You'll be glad you did. We'll show you how, what's going on with this and how to get rid of it. So click the link below. We'll see you there.